Hey guys, thanks for checking out the podcast. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the very cool bucket list trip I am doing in 2026, the Smitty Learns Irish podcast, where I'm going to do my bucket list, hike Ireland for a year, learn about Irish history, town by town, through the mouths of the pub owners and regulars. Because what's a better way to learn about something you love than to experience it yourself? Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths, only three bucks a month, and thanks for checking it out. And welcome to the Rock Radar. My name is Smitty from the What the Hell Everything podcast and another reaction to another Japanese band. And I'm kind of excited for this. Shout out to my friend Craig Babiars, who is a good band on his of his own uh, called User Friendly Killer Robots. A pretty cool hardcore punk fucking metal band out of northern Michigan. Uh, and that's UKR User Friendly Killer Robots. Anyway, he suggested this. Uh, I... I know nothing about this band, but I, from memory, what he said, Craig said, uh, it's similar to like a, a Japanese Black Sabbath, in a way. Uh, so that immediately perks my interest because Black Sabbath is up here. <laughs> so uh, again, I know nothing about this band. Uh, I know this is the song, the translation on it is Hell's Mountain of Needles. It is a live footage performance. And I think this is a fairly well-known band, at least in Japan. Uh, I know nothing about it. It's got uh, over 600,000 views as of this recording date. Uh, so let's just get into it. I, I have no idea. Uh, what to expect from Ninjin Isu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am. I feel pretty ignorant about it. Uh, and it's called Mountain Hell's Mountain of Needles. So uh, let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> Spiny Mountain in Hell. I sound like Fred fan. Whoa, hang on. I got the fucking lyrics up. And look, I don't know, maybe this is a good example of uh, when I listened to and when I reacted to Bandmade, the, another Japanese band that I reacted to and I'm starting to really like, and I will have more coming, but there's that language barrier uh, on translation a lot of times. Specifically, uh, in uh, this case, I don't know if they're how correct these uh, these translations are, you know? That's one reason why I don't like... Uh, or have not yet commented or interacted with any like uh, Japanese subscribers or Japanese viewers because I had copied and pasted a few into like Google Translate and in my head I'm like that doesn't seem right and I do not want to like have bad translations boy that's how you get people to fucking hate you you know <laughs> I don't want people to hate me but here's the thing uh I really want, I'm not a lyric person. You watch any of my videos, you know, I never have the lyrics up. So I don't know if I can disable, oh, let me try to disable these, these, uh, yeah, let's disable. I'm going to start this whole goddamn thing over again. Let's disable the lyrics because it, it looked like your dead mother and things. It sounds like bread fan. It's totally distracting though. So I'm going to listen to the whole song. It's called Hell's Mountain of Needles. Those lyrics look nothing like Bread Fan. I don't remember those lyrics in Bread Fan ever. <laughs> uh, let's continue, shall we? Because it's, uh, it's interesting, to say the least. <laughs> say it's called Spiny Mountain in Hell. Maybe fucking... Bungie ripped these guys off. Sounds 
like bread fan to me. You know what? I'm going to stop this post-production edit. <laughs> Uh, I got to figure out what the fuck is going on in this song. Why I, I'm going to put closed captions back on, and I'm going to try to Wikipedia some motherfucking information here because uh, let's just see. All right, in the okay, in the YouTube video in the description, if you have okay, just behind the scenes how this shit works, kids. <laughs> uh, if you have any sort of copyrighted music playing in the background, you do it yourself. What the fuck ever. Uh, it just pops up, you know what I mean? And so that band can get credit for that song being played, probably rightfully fucking so. Uh, there's a reason a lot of stuff gets blocked. We don't just say, you know, anyway. Uh, it says, Bread Fan by Budgie. Uh, no other story is being given, so I'm going to try to find some sort of English-speaking Wikipedia uh, information on this song. Ninjin Isu... I, I think I'm saying that correct, or somewhat close to correct. Isu, and then Spiny <laughs> Mountain Hell. I think that's the fucking name of it, right? And then also, Bread Fan Budgie. You probably just Google uh, Bread Fan Budgie, and there's probably some sort of fucking story in there. There we go. I see it right now. Where the fuck is it? Uh, in the preview on Google, is a heavy metal song, original by Budgie. Originally recorded, yep. The Japanese band Ninja Isu also covered the song. So it's a cover, but they uh, named it that. <laughs> Let me find this real quick. The full fucking version. Okay. The Japanese band Ninja Isu also covered the song and it was recorded on their 1990 album, No Longer Human, under the name Yari no Hama, or Hari no Yama, excuse me, Mountain of Needles. And I'm sure I slaughtered that mispronunciation and I apologize. Uh, live performances as well. So, I mean, uh, it's got its own lyrics, though, I feel like. So, I feel like I kind of sort of have to fucking narrate the lyrics along. Just fucking start over again, goddammit. Because it's Bread Fan, 100%, which, you know, fucking A. <laughs> Hey, this song is from Budgie. We're going to write a way more fucked up version, though. <laughs> Walking on and on and on through unfamiliar and lonely paths. Sorry, I can't sing it. All I can see is the mountain of needles. My unclean bowels are devoured to by my soon-to-be dead mother. <laughs> Why is it funny? I don't know. I hate many people and die in vain as many times like dogs and cats. There's no way this could be an accurate translation. Then I fall down from the mountain of needles, all covered with blood and fire. I'm going to stop doing that because I feel like that's really annoying. It's annoying for me. You can see that. Try to sing it in that those words. Oh fuck yeah.
it wasn't goddamn fun, you know? Fantastic. happy I listened to that, you know? Sometimes that's the best thing you can say about a song. I, I've not... I feel like that cheapened it. I feel like that de was demeaning, and that is not how uh, it was intended in my head. But man, I gotta tell you, uh, that was really interesting. Those lyrics, I, I, I can only assume those are halfway correct, right? Uh, seem lined right up with the subject matter from the title standpoint <laughs> but there's got to be some kind of story behind that you know uh my friend craig is laughing right now going oh <laughs> smitty anyway it was really fucking fun and uh i want to check out more from that band uh any suggestions would be helpful. Hey, you like my thoughts on this? Uh, I want to check out my thoughts on other things. Got a Patreon page as well, uh, where I have way more podcasts. The What the Hell Everything podcast, Rock and Roll Roundtable, Album Review podcast, uh, and way more extra content, early access reactions, album reactions, all kinds of shit. Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths. The link is in that description. So uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one. What the hell everything?